Hey everyone, Cole with GZ with another new release preview for Friday, July 21st, 4 p.m. Eastern and 10 a.m. Hawaii time. All right, really excited about this release. We have some uh, brand new baits from a couple different lure makers that we haven't restocked in a while. Um, so we'll kind of get right to it. We have uh, brand new Amaral lures, a bunch of random ones but brand new shipment just arrived uh new crampton baits and some new shapes for uh, at least to gz and then we have some aloha sundowners which have been selling very well and doing very well um that's a hot new bait and i think it's going to continue to grow um so let's start with the amaral lures all right there is basically three different designs of lures that he makes uh you got the plunger double tapered plunger uh and then you have the straight runner which is mostly flat um not a tube shape but just very slight taper and then you have the cup face lure like the chugger style okay so uh and then he has those in just different sizes basically and then each one has its own name um, so let's start with the biggest one here. We have the Naha and that one is a, basically a 16 inch size lure. It's a double taper plunger again. We have a few different color patterns that we brought in there. A lot of blues and pinks. And then we have the Tearoa. Um, and a lot of, again, I think we have one, two, three, four, five of them in different colors this is the straight runner shape the largest of the straight runner shapes ex except for his teaser uh called the anaconda um and this one um is basically a 14 inch size lure um we have purple and black green orange and blue and green so you can see a lot of mirrored stuff and pearl inserts as most of what he makes. Um, and then he makes the, um, uh, I forget what we call it, but basically a swirled pearl insert, multicolor pearl insert as well. Um, and then we have uh, same 14 inch size. This is the plunger shape. So this one's called the Mamba. We just brought one of those in this time around. And then we have um, the 12 inch version of the his chugger cup face style lure. They're not jetted. Um, this one's called the Jararaka. Um, this is the 12 inch regular Jararaka. He also makes a 14 inch size and a baby. Um, so here we go uh, with the straight runner shape. This one's called the Diamondback. This is more of the 12 inch size. Um, have blue and pink white and blue uh, this one's in a yellowfin pattern and then uh, he calls this one bisbee's uh black and green this one won a bisbee's tournament one of the biz i think is the bisbee's black and blue um a few years ago and that's one of our most popular ones obviously kind of a mean joe green style color pattern but um which is popular just about anywhere and then we have uh, black and purple and pink and then we have what is called the Canny Nana. This is continues with the, the plunger shape. This is more of a nine inch size. Um, these are uh, just great all around lures for all kinds of species. And then, so you see uh, blue, orange, and green, pink and silver, green and yellow, purple and black, bright green and dark green, pink and black. And then lastly, we have what's called the crate, which is the smallest of the straight runners. It is a nine inch size as well, almost a seven inch. Um, really short nose on it. Uh, this one's in a yellowfin pattern, blue and green, green and yellow. So some really nice colors. Um, these are handmade in Brazil by Antonio Amaral, if I did not specify that. Um, again, we've been working with him for a long time, um, and has, they've done really well, even in the Gulf and areas in the U S, um, this may be not one of our top selling U S baits, but they do really well in the Gulf. We've had a lot of great reports on, on his lures on all of them. I mean, not just the smaller ones. So 
Um, all right, now let's go to the Crampton baits. We have, like I said, we have a few new shapes here for us. Th these are all, so these are all handmade by Brian Crampton, uh, which is Scott Crampton's son. And uh, the new shapes to GZ, they're actually older shapes that, that um, Scott made and they had older molds. Scott didn't make many of them, especially, you know, in uh, his later years. Um, and then Brian basically revived them. So now they're, now they're uh, be able to push them out in a little bit more numbers. So pretty excited about that. And then we also restocked um, a lot of the other shapes, which are over here. And I'll get into those color patterns here in a bit. But uh, to start with, we have the bullet. Uh, so Scott originally made uh, two size of bullet. This is the XL size, it's a 12 inch size bullet. And then we have the nine inch bullet here. Um, okay, so, and they have nice pearl tips. These are uh, the same dimensions and weight distribution as uh, Scott's original. So nothing's really been manipulated there. Um, and then we have two other new shapes. This one is the small DT, uh, which DT stands for double taper. You can see the heavy front and reverse taper. Uh, I'd say semi-heavy front and reverse taper, but it's a double tapered plunger style lure. This is a nine inch size. Um, and here, this is in the black salt and pepper, which is the, they're probably his most popular. Um, but you can see the Crampton Bates label is on all of these. Um, Brian put those on just to distinguish between his and his father's lures. Um, and which makes it a lot easier for the guys who have Scott's lures and and because uh, that's a, obviously a special thing, uh, especially from a collector standpoint. And uh, so um, anyway, this is this was originally made by Scott though, and then uh, at least the the shape was. And then like I said, Brian revitalized that one. So that's called the small DT. And then the last one is called the mini hog. Same thing. Um, Brian or, or, or Scott, yeah, Brian revitalized the lure. Scott originally made the first ones and here is a new stash of them. So, uh, you could see that. And so again, that was the mini hog. You can see the difference here between the mini hog and the regular hog. Quite a bit difference. You got a, basically a 14 inch and a nine inch size there. So, all right. Uh, We'll go with the skirted ones first. We have a, uh, this is the only a la vie skirted one that we did, but this is a really cool golden mother of pearl plunger um, with really nice pink and black resin eyes. Did that one in pink mahi a la vie. And then we have a set, our set of uh, small DTs here we skirted up. And then all these are real shell. Tahitian Mother Pearl, Golden Mother Pearl, and White Mother Pearl. And then we have the Mini Hogs. Again, Golden Mother Pearl. There's some Tahitian. Okay. So you see all the color patterns that we did there. All right. And then we have the bullets. Here's the XL bullets. Different color pearl tips. Purple rainbow scale with a black pearl tip. And then here's the nine inch bullets there. So um, really nice stuff. Uh, re again, really excited to bring these in. And then lastly, on his lures, we have some two really nice color patterns in each of the original four shapes, which is the, the quarter tonner in the front here, the black salt and pepper, classic, probably the best selling style. And then this is real abalone shell really nice shell this is very hard to get um and highly coveted i say you can see that sh those thick shell slabs on there real abalone shell with a black back both of those color patterns are done in each of those four sizes or four shapes there's the tube the plunger and then the hog so um so there we go i'm excited to get those in we have multiples of the uh salt and pepper those always tend to go first all right, and then lastly, we have the Sundowner. Um, some brand new Sundowners. We teased the Dicro stuff a while back, probably three or four weeks back. And then we have some mirrored ones. So you can kind of see the Dicro here 
I'll just kind of showcase. This is a gold and green dichro. You can see the really nice color patterns here. Some blue, purple, and black. This one's super cool. It's a little bit of like teal in there and blue. And then this one we call ice. See the pink and blue in there as well. And then here's the mirrored ones that we have, basically blue and clear. That's all we have for the mirrored stuff. Okay, and then here's some more dichro work. Uh, these that kind of look like natural eyes, they, they're called Mongo eyes. And then the other ones are just um, basically a standard red eye. So you can see the nice little dichro work. And we have a few more like head only options and stuff like that that you can get. So um, that is it for this week though. So uh, again, really excited about this this week where we've been wanting to get in some new stock of the Amarils and the Cramptons especially. And we really needed some new Sundowners because we were running very low. Um, it's been one of our hottest selling lures, I'd say. So, uh, um, so yeah, that's it for this week. Again, everything here on the 21st, 4 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Hawaii time. Hit us up with any questions. And, uh, yeah, check them out online at gzlures.com. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a good rest of your week.